Was Barnabas in the little flock or the body of Christ? So get Acts chapter 11. The question this listener sent in, they, they referenced Acts chapter 11, verse 22. Let's look at this. Acts chapter 11, verse 22. Then tidings of these things came unto the ears of the church which was in Jerusalem, and they sent forth Barnabas, that he should go as far as Antioch. So the church in Jerusalem sends out Barnabas. The question that's raised is, was Barnabas part of the little flock or part of the body of Christ? Get with me Acts chapter 4. Acts chapter 4. Acts chapter 4, verse 36. And Joses, who by the apostles was surnamed Barnabas, so this is the same fellow, which is being interpreted the son of consolation, a Levite, and of the country of Cyprus, having land, sold it, and brought the money, and laid it at the apostles' feet. So what this tells us is that Barnabas was saved in Acts 4. So Barnabas was a believer a long time before Acts 9. It was a long time before the Apostle Paul was saved. It was before the body of Christ even began. So what was Barnabas? Was he a member of the body of Christ? Or was he a member of the, the little flock, the kingdom church? The answer is Barnabas had to be a member of the little flock because the little flock existed at that time and the body of Christ did not. Notice also verse 37, what it says about Barnabas is, having land, he sold it and brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. What Barnabas was doing in Acts 4 is he was doing exactly what Peter said to be done in Acts 2. So it seems rather clear that what Barnabas is, is he's a member of the little flock. He's not a member of the body of Christ. Let's look at one more verse on this that I think is helpful. Look with me at Acts chapter 9. So we know that Barnabas is a member of the little flock because he was saved before the body of Christ even existed. Look with me at Acts chapter 9, verse 26. And when Saul was come to Jerusalem, this is in Acts 9 after Saul's conversion, he essayed to join himself to the disciples, but they were all afraid of him and believed not that he was a disciple. So when, when Saul first gets saved, were believers naturally fearful of him? Well, sure they were, because he made havoc of the church. He's described as a murderer. So when Saul came to Jerusalem and said, I'm a believer, it was natural for people to be skeptical. They thought it might have been some sort of ploy. Notice verse 27. But Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles and declared unto them how he had seen the Lord in the way and that he had spoken to him and how he had preached boldly at Damascus in the name of Jesus. So what you can see is that Damascus is, is sort of a bridge, if you will, between Saul and the Twelve and the Kingdom Church. The Kingdom Church has doubts about Saul. Barnabas bridges that gap. So you see that Barnabas, even though he's a member of the little flock, he plays a very important role in bridging the, the obvious mistrust that might have existed between Saul and the Kingdom Church.